Welcome, 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 welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Lorenzo Simpson and Ryko Santana, which is now the main event on the BoxRex card. The Eli Elijah Pierce fight is off, an illness. So now we're looking at um, Ryko Santana <coughs> and Lorenzo Simpson as the main event in, in the uh, overtime Boxing card on the zone. Uh, it's in Atlanta. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, the, the Patreon gets you all of uh, the lock. It gets you the lock of the week, which we hit every week. Uh, we hit our two play parlay today. Uh, so join the Patreon. It gets you ask the booking anything, ask me to make a video, ask me to handicap a fight. Uh, and it also gets you the updated. Prop bets that aren't released when I do the video. Uh, so it gets you all the best gambling advice. It gets you, you can request a, a, a handicap a fight for you. Um, it gets you all the parks. I, I, I am tired here, guys. It's already almost 1 a.m. where I'm at. I'm trying to get this video out for y'all. So uh, Lorenzo Simpson, uh, and also uh, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's get into it. Lorenzo Simpson. And I'm going to say this right this time. I've been practicing. Ryko Santana. Um, Lorenzo Simpson. Short, stocky, southpaw. Throws off clean combinations. Aggressive offensive fighter. He's short. He closes in distance. But there's too much straight in and out. He's not super fast. He was a pretty touted guy. Um, and he lost a controversial decision to Vladimir Hernandez back in 2023. Uh, I think this was this was on, 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 on his own as well. Um, he's got a win over Pacino Hill. He's got some decent wins. Sonny Sonny Duvernay. Uh, he's got a win over. He took he actually took Sonny Duvernay's O, I believe. He took Sonny Duvernay's O back in 2020. Uh, that was on Emmanuel Navarrete and Ruben Villa. Remember that card. So he's, he's, he's got some decent wins. He was a pretty talented guy. He took a, a loss of Vladimir Hernandez. Uh, close fight. A lot of people thought he won. Um, Hernandez got the close majority decision. One of the cards on that was outrageous, like 79-73. It was one of those decisions where people were split. Um, and now he's taken on... Ryko Santana. Um, he, there's a lot to him. He, to to Simpson, he telegraphs his shots a bit. He, he needs he, he needs to throw combinations. That's when he's at his best. There's not a ton of lateral movement in him. He's mostly flat footed coming forward. He wants to stand in. He's got good power, not sensational, amazing power, but I would say you know one to ten. His power is a seven. A lot of times he's he's too stationary, right? He should be moving. He's not a super athlete, but he's not slow either. And he doesn't really use his, his speed at all. He's too willing to fight someone else's fight. And, and that's what he got caught in with, with Santana. He's, he, at his best, he's a southpaw power, power boxer. Solid to good pop. Who's stationary, but a good combination puncher. He's at his best when he's throwing... He's throwing in threes and fours. He's hard to hit. He's got pretty, I mean, he, he hits hard. He's got good hand speed. He throws clean combinations. He lands with accuracy. He's got decent movement in the pocket. He can slip and slide a bit. And he can get inside. But he's a pressure fighter. He's relentless. He's coming after you. He throws hard, committed shots. He's strong as hell. His nickname really identifies. He's a truck. Like, that's what he is. He's, 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 he can knock you down. Um, he creates good torque on the inside. He, he throws these short shots on the inside that he's able to generate quite a bit of torque on. Um, so he's good on the inside. Inside, throwing combinations, throwing short shots. That's that's where he wants to be. Rico Santana. Rico Santana's had a really, really interesting career. Uh, Rico Santana's 31. He turned pro back in 2018. In a loss to Dennis Kamatov. Um, that was his pro debut. He's come a long way. He's lost to uh, Rafsan Egershov, right? Prospect Egershov. 
who's now six six and one. So that guy, he, he's got losses to these guys. He lost to Lester Martinez in Mexico. He lost to Daniel Blancas in a fight. He dropped Blancas, and a lot of people thought he won. He's got an interesting career. He's been in with tough guys. Now he's fighting Lorenzo Simpson. We're going to find out if, the, if Blanc has also tr- struggled in his last fight out with a guy named Bruno Paulo from Mexico. In San, the fight was in Laredo. Laredo or San Antonio. I don't remember. It was in Texas. It was in Laredo. It was. Um, Lorenzo Simpson is a, is a prospect who was touted. He's coming on. This is going to tell us a lot about both guys. And it's going to be a w- war. Santana is an aggressive power boxer. Not your typical fighter. Come forward. Doesn't jab enough. He's easy to hit. He's straight in, straight out. Not much movement. Doesn't jab enough, but also commits to his shot. Stands in, toe-to-toe. See, and this is why, like, this fight is is hard to pick. But Simpson's the bigger puncher. They both get hit a lot. They both want to be on the inside. They both want to exchange. Simpson hits harder. That's why I'm taking Simpson. He can also get in and out better. There's no jab. Really, uh, uh, on Santana anymore. He's changed a lot. He used to use his legs a little bit. Now I think it's behooved him. I think he's a better fighter now than he used to be, and it, it, it's more stationary, more banging than it was in the past. He's changed a lot stylistically to, to a more stationary fighter. Not great power and not a huge hitter, but he throws. You know, he throws. He commits to his shot, so he makes the most of the shots that he does land. Gets wild and undisciplined. He's easy to counter. And, and this is why I'm leaning towards Lorenzo Simpson. Um, Truck Simpson is a flawed guy, too. He's not a perfect fighter. Let, let, me, get the, let me get the odds on this. All right. Let me share this with y'all. I like Lorenzo Simpson on a one-time bet. There's no props on this. If props drop, which I'm not expecting them to because I'm, I'm really getting sick, sick of DraftKings with the lack of props. If you guys can find, take this fight does not go the distance. I think someone's getting knocked out in this fight. If you can get a prop for the under, if you can get a prop for this fight does not go the distance, I would recommend taking it. For this, we don't have it, so I'm just going to put a one-time bet on Lorenzo Simpson. $100 bet makes you six, six we'll call it $70. It's pretty decent odds. This is not a block. Uh, a lot of bet I like better is the fight doesn't go the distance. I, I think someone's getting knocked out in this fight. Uh, this is a make or break fight for Lorenzo Simpson, and this is a fight that if Santana gets a win, it gets him another money fight. So this is a huge fight for both guys. Uh, I like Simpson. I like Simpson. The odds are not too terrible, minus 145. Uh, but it's, it, this is it's a difficult fight. This is going to be a hard fight for Simpson. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. It is June 28th, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless.